Craig K4 Pocket Hole Jig, shown here, comes with everything you need to get started making this very handy joint. This kit includes a special step drill bit, the special flat bottom screws, a square drive drill bit, and a stop collar for setting the depth of the holes. The screws used for pocket hole joiner are special because they have a flat bottom head and a self drilling thread point. These screws are available in coarse thread for softwoods and fine thread for hardwoods. The drilling block has three holes in it, all with special metal sleeves that guide the drill and keep it at the proper angle. This is the exit point of that metal guide where the drill exits the block to drill the pocket hole. The guide block has a scale on the side that lets you set its height in the bench mount for the thickness wood being worked with. The bench mount has these gauges on either side for setting the stop collar on the step drills. You just lay the drill in the gauge with the step at the marker for the wood thickness you're using, then tighten the stop collar. The bench mount has countersunk holes at all four corners for mounting it directly to the bench. It also has a cavity at the end that lets you clamp it to a board for temporary use. The bench mount has this lever clamp that has an adjustable plunger. You can quickly set the plunger for whatever thickness wood you're working with. The large cup at the end of the plunger holds wood securely without marking it. The holes in the drill block are laid out to make it easy to get two or three screws in various sized woods. You notice each of the holes has a center line to make it easier to line them up. The K4 kit also includes this free snap-on dust cover. The drilling block can be removed from the bench mount and used by itself. If you just align the bottom edge with the edge of the wood and clamp it in place, the holes will be drilled correctly for half inch thick material. Add the included spacer block to the drill block, align that up with the edge of the wood, and the holes will be drilled for three quarter inch thick material. Each of these spacer blocks that's added increases the material thickness by one quarter of an inch. The K4 kit comes with a very basic instruction pamphlet, but it has a very complete site builder DVD that tells you everything you need to know and shows you how to do it. Craig also offers face clamps in various sizes as an accessory. They also have this quick release set that includes a chuck, step drill, and a driver bit. Using this jig is simple. I've set it up for the thickness wood being used and also set the stop collar using the gauges for both. I've aligned the wood with the holes that I want to use in the drill block and clamped it in place. I just drill out the holes that I want, making sure that the drill goes all the way down until the stop collar contacts the block. I just release the wood from the clamp and you can see we have the pair of holes drilled. Now I just align the piece that we just drilled with our layout line on the other piece of the joint. Then we apply the clamp. You just want to make sure that the round disc fits over the joint so it holds the pieces of wood flush to each other. Now we just drive a screw into both holes and let the screws pull the joint together. Now if I paid attention we get a nice smooth joint that's going to need very little sanding on either end. If the pieces being joined are the same size there should be very little sanding on either side of the joint. Because only one piece of the joint is drilled, we can make this joint anywhere along a board that we need to.